Okay, interest rate high and inflation. Hi everyone, my name is Casey from Home Quarters and this is Singapore's property update for October 2022. Alright, for a general update, amid frenzy buying and new home launches, developer may be signaling a peak. Why do we say so? The recent strong showing and new launches continue at the 99 years Lantor model with 84% of the units sold over just two days this September when 508 units transacted between $1.8 to $2.5 thousand dollars per square feet. However, two sites near Lantor MRT and Bukit Batok where did not pick developer interest, attracting only three and four bids respectively when they went up for tender in September. Condo HDB rents rise again in August. Rentals in August rose for condo and HDB for the 20th and 26th straight month respectively, even though volume was still down year on year. Homequarters thinks that condo and HDB rental demand is expected to stay at about the current level unless there's significant increase in foreign employment, which is not forecasted. We can also expect more demand for the luxury condo and landed properties, with recent government initiative to attract top foreign talent by new work passes for high earners. Alright, for the HDB segment, drawing demand from matured housing estate. The Housing Development Board or HDB announced in August that a higher percentage of three-room and larger BTO units in non-mature estate will be reserved for first-time buyers. The move hopes to draw first-time buyers who are more eager for a flat to consider newer estate instead. HDB resale prices inch up 0.4% in August. Volume continued trending down. As HDB resale pricing were up for the 26th straight month, volume stayed low due to the Luna 7th month or possibly signaling a fall in demand. Home Quarters thinks that sellers will be keen to stick to high asking price as long as economic factors like high employment and increasing wages support it without much change in the economy at large. Next, let's talk about the condo segment. Private home sales hit the brakes as curb cool demand. Private property transactions recorded from Jan to June this year amount to only about a third of that for the whole of 2021. Overall sales in 2022 is unlikely to surpass 2021 figure, which is a nine-year high, but it is expected to top 2020 sales. Condo resale volume fall for the fourth month as prices hold firm. As expected, August saw condo resale volume dip due to the Luna 7 month, but prices stay strong, inching up 1.2% for the 25th straight month and climb 10.5% year on year. August new private home sales tumbled to 28 months low. The lack of new launches during the Hungry Ghost Festival and limited unsold stock were the reason behind the 47.6% drop in August compared to the month before. Home Quarters thinks that we should expect to see an improvement in September's figure with the overwhelming performance of Lentor Modern and Sky Eden at Bedok. New suburban launches commanding $2,000 plus PSF have become more of a regular occurrence. Even with rising inflation and interest rate, buyer's demand is still strong, indicating that affordability is not an issue. So that's it for October 2022. Come back next month for more Singapore property updates. If you are keen to work with home quarters to help you properly expose your unit for sale or to buy that dream home, or make the smart investment, reach out to us at 8809-2889 or go to our website homequarters.com.sg. My name is Casey from Home Quarters. Subscribe, follow and like us on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook at Home Quarters SG. And lastly, remember, call Home Quarters and start packing.